there hope you're doing great today in today's quick video we'll answer a question we very often discuss with potential uh, passive or active investment partners and namely how do we protect your capital but before we discuss that just a quick reminder that our videos are for educational and entertainment purposes only and do not constitute tax legal or investment advice so let's begin any investment carries risks if, if anyone promises you guaranteed returns personally at least for me i can't speak for everyone but at least for me um i would probably run for the hills and not 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 move forward because any investment comes with risks even keeping your cash in a bank uh, comes with certain risks that you should uh, consider and evaluate before taking action um, so capital preservation is something that we um, take um, dear near and dear to our hearts and uh, certainly look to understand before we enter into any investment opportunity so how do we do that um, first we focus on vetting the operator you may have heard the story of the jockey and the horse and we very much uh, believe in that a good operator can turn a really great property and a good investment into a bad one very quickly and vice versa uh, sorry a bad operator and then a good operator can um, turn a bad property into a great investment and, and great property um, so focusing on the operator what their track record is uh, is their investment philosophy investment are their investment criteria aligned with ours how do they communicate how do they handle challenges uh, what is their track record how are they performing relative to budget these are just a few questions that uh, we ask up front uh, because there are a lot of unexpected things that do happen and will happen while running a business which is what um, operating that property is um, so understanding how they work how they operate how they communicate is key uh, number two is as I just briefly mentioned unexpected things always happen so are there sufficient reserves in place you cannot forecast absolutely everything that will happen over a five or seven year horizon and so those reserves and, and making sure budgets around capex projects and such are crafted with adequate cushion really provide that rainy day fund that one can uh, tap into should cash flow get tight or, or during the periods of market turbulence number three we vet the underwriting very carefully to understand what assumptions have been made to arrive at the projected returns do we feel that they're reasonable and realistic uh, and aligned with our risk tolerance and investment criteria as usual the answer will be different for everyone so we vet those numbers to make sure those align with our um, approach and uh, what our investors are looking for we definitely want to see deals with cash flow on day one an adequate cushion because that further mitigates the risks and speaking of risks we while well, everyone likes high returns and, and we do as well we want to ensure that on a risk adjusted basis those returns are acceptable for example a high leverage deal, leverage deal with nominal reserves and aggressive assumptions would yield beautiful returns on paper but is that realistic and is that in line with our own risk tolerance um, that's the question that we look to address as we vet each and every opportunity uh, presented to us and um, apart from the underwriting understanding the debt structure uh, uh, making sure that aligns with the business plan understanding what the exit strategies are ideally there will be multiple exit strategies so understanding what those are especially when looking at shorter term 
uh, bridge options which uh, sometimes are the only solution when you're purchasing a property that uh, perhaps is not uh, stabilized um, so we answer this very question uh, we will look at the market as well and, and making sure the market and sub market um, have strong underlying fundamentals and we've discussed what some of those are uh, you can check out some of our prior videos um, regarding that matter so the operator the market the underwriting including reserves cash flow on day on day one um, debt assumptions uh, to ensure that at the end of the day if a storm hits which could very well happen we're well prepared to weather the storm and in those scenarios even if we don't hit projected returns at least we don't lose money uh, because again just like with any investment real estate carries its own risks and it's important to acknowledge that understand that and think through um, how to mitigate those so we hope you found today's video helpful and if you did please like share and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.